Now, the, the key is that um, every single time, you, and this is something to appreciate um, with our emotions, you, you can't selectively control who receives your projections when you are in denial of an emotion. Yeah, so, so he is, he, if, he, if this is yourself in denial of an emotion, so imagine, he, here's what the emotion should do, it should just pass straight through you, right? And, uh, and you should feel it completely. But when we're in denial of emotion, it's like we've got a great big block and it comes down to that point and then just squirts out everywhere, right? All around our environment, right? Now, you don't have any control over which person receives that projection at all. As soon as, as, soon as you're in denial of an emotion, from then on, every single individual in your environment feels it. And it's totally out of your control which one of those individuals feeling it until you go, I need to feel it. And as soon as you choose to feel it yourself, now not a single person in your environment will need to feel it. And that's the only choice we have. Either we feel it or we don't. If we don't feel it, every single person in our environment is going to get the barrage of it at some point. And, and your children are the most sensitive people in your environment, so obviously they're going to pick it up the first. And it's lovely that you don't want to harm your children, so choose instead to have the courage to feel the fear. Is that...? Yeah. And that is a choice that has to, like Mary mentioned, has to be made for yourself. Nobody else can do that for you. And, and to be frank, nobody can secure you through it, you know, keep you safe through it. Because by definition, to feel fear, you're going to have to feel unsafe. And this is what most of us don't want to do. We don't want to feel unsafe, and so we deny the fear. And in the process of denying the fear, we're carrying it around with us, being manipulated by spirits, and usually also ourselves manipulating other people uh, through our fear and terror. And the irony is, as soon as we choose to feel it ourselves, from that moment on, everyone else around us is no longer manipulated by it. And on top of that, spirits can no longer influence us. And on top of that, we're now feeling the terror and releasing it, which means that we have a hope of getting down to the causal emotion that actually will change us. Whereas if we don't choose to do that, we'll never get to that causal emotion that can change us. Yeah. So the key is to pray to God about some courage. You know, that, that quality, courage. Yeah. It's a very important quality that is required of us if we want to embrace God.